I am James Edward from Madras Christian College, Kairasandhi School. Today you are going to do one of the experiments of the PN junction diode. You are going to study the characteristics of the PN junction diode. So actually first there are two uh, biasing here. One is forward bias, next will be the reverse bias. So what's called forward bias? The P side of the junction diode is connected to the positive terminal of the battery. Then you are calling it a forward bias. The same way for reverse bias, the P side of the PN junction diode should be connected to the negative terminal of the battery. Actually, this is the PN junction diode circuits everything, but all the circuits are inside the box itself. Each one will follow different method, but our school we are following this box type only. This is the PN junction diode. This is the resistance here you have. Then this is the ammeter, this will be the voltmeter. Actually you are getting the current in milliampere as well as you are getting the current in microampere. If you are uh, moving the knob in the downward direction, you are getting the current in the milliampere. The same way if you are moving the knob in the upward direction, you are getting the current in microampere. Now first for a forward bias, you have to keep the voltage will be 0. 1 volt. If you have to move the voltage will be 0.1 volt. So for the 0.1 volt, how, what about the current in milliampere? You have to calculate because this is a forward bias. Forward bias condition, you are getting the current in milliamperes. So for 0 0.10, you are getting the uh, current will be 0 only. For point 0.2 also you are getting the current will be 0 only. Point 0.3 also you are getting current 0 only. Point 0.4 you are getting the current in point 0.1 milliampere. Point 0.4 you are getting the current in point 0.1 milliampere. Then for point 0.5 you are getting the current in 1.1. 1.1 milliampere. Then for 0.6, you are getting the current 4.5 milliampere. Then 0.7, you are getting the current 13.4 milliampere. And for 0.8, you are getting the current 29.3 milliampere. The readings are noted in the tabla column. Now we have to come to the reverse bias condition. So the forward bias actually the P side of the junction diode should be connected to the positive terminal of the battery. But here in the reverse bias condition the P side should be connected to the negative terminal of the battery. After that, you will start taking reading, but here you are getting the current in micro ampere because you are getting a very minute current only. Actually, this is the varying voltage. So, just you have to, by rotating the knob, the voltage will vary. First, you have to keep the voltage as 1.00 volts. You have to keep it as 1 volt. This is the current you are getting in micro ampere. Volt you are getting 0 0.014 micro ampere. The same way for 2 volts, you are getting the current to be 0 0.029. 0 0.029. Similarly, you can take for 3 voltage, 4 voltage, and so on. Up to you can take 14 voltage. From these readings, you have to plot all the points in the graph, then you have to do the calculation based on that only. You have to find out knee voltage as well as you have to find out the forward resistance. Now you have to take the graph, you have what are the reading you are taking, just you have to plot it on the graph. First you have to draw for, for the forward bias. So in x axis you have to take the forward voltage. The same way in y axis you take the forward current in milliampere. 
so in x axis you have to take as point 0.1 point 0.2 point 0.3 point 0.4 up to point 0.8 voltage the same way for y axis you have to take 5 milliampere 10 milliampere you can take up to 60 milliampere the same way for reverse bias condition in x dash x dash you take the reverse voltage 2 voltage then 4 voltage 6 voltage 8 voltage and so on in y axis you have to take the reverse current in microampere in microampere you take the reverse current so that we point on point 2 point 3 it will keep on going and so on first we get to pl plot the graph for the forward bias so for point on voltage the current will be zero only so current will be zero and point 2 also current is zero only point 3 also zero only point 4 just we are getting point 1 volt so just started that's all then point 5 also you are getting 1.1 so point 5 you are getting 1.5 that also close to zero only then point 6 4.5 so for point 6 just below 5 only that is 4.5 Then point seven thirteen point four for point seven you have to keep it as thirteen point. This is twelve point five, so thirteen point four just above that one. Then point eight twenty nine point three close to thirty. So close to thirty just you have to keep close to thirty. Now you have to just connect all the points now. Okay, this is for the forward bias. Now for the reverse bias, for two volt, zero point zero two nine. So we are getting almost point zero three. Next for four volt, zero point zero five eight. Almost point six point zero six. Then for six volt zero point zero eight seven, almost point zero nine. Then for eight volt zero point one one six. So plot the point here below point one. Then for ten volt zero point one four four. Almost close to zero point one five. Then for twelve volt, zero point one seven four. So almost close to zero point one eight. Then for fourteen, we are getting point two zero three. So for fourteen, we are getting. Zero point two zero three. Now we get to join all the points now. So this is also like linear only. Therefore, the voltage increases here. The current will be increases in micro ampere. First, we have to find out the new voltage. To find out new voltage. When the current start increasing, the forward current start increasing, then you have to draw the small line. So where the current will start increasing, that's a new voltage. Now you have to find out the forward re uh, resistance. To find out the forward resistance, you have to draw the slope. Draw the slope in x-axis as well as in y-axis. So this point will be this point will be 4.5. This is 4.5, and the same way, and this point will be 13.4. So 
so the difference of 0.7 minus 0.6 that will be equal to 0.7 minus 0.6 by this will be 13.4 13.4 minus 4.5 equal to 0.1 divided by 8.9 so this is in the milliampere so in the 10 power minus 3 into 10 power minus 3. So that should be equal to 0.1 into 10 power 3 by 8.9 equal to 100 by 8.9 ohm. 1.2 ohm. The unit will be ohm. So now we get to come to the result. Come to the result here. The VA cuts of the PN junction diode are studied. New voltage of the PN junction diode that will be here you have that will be crossing at 0.5 volt. So write it as here 0.5 volt. And forward resistance of the diode you are getting the value 1.2 ohm. So here write it as 1.2 ohm. So this is a final answer. This is a very easy experiment. So you can only thing you have to practice the graph. Wish you all the best.